you're quiet, the master won't be seeing you or hear you. We can sneak in and watch him work. Welcome, miniature fans. Uh, quite a while back, I backed a Kickstarter, and the Kickstarter was Battle Systems. These are the fantasy tabletop buildings, and they're all made out of cardboard. Um, now, I received my Kickstarter um, a couple of weeks back, and I finally got round to sticking all these cardboard buildings together. Now, they are quite nice. They um, have quite a few issues. Um, they were supposed to be, um, you're supposed to be able to take them apart and store them, take them to the game stores or take them to your friend's house, put them together, flat pack them and then re put, put them together. Um, but they aren't that strong and I noticed my very first put, uh, my very first miniature put them together, the paper started peeling off and they will not last. Um, they definitely will not last if you're going to be reusing them, taking them apart and putting them together again. Plus, um, the larger buildings are very difficult to put together. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to do a little show uh, where um, on each video um, I'll show you the different houses that I purchased on this Kickstarter. And what I'm going to do is just try to improve them a little bit and show you what you can do to improve these cardboard buildings um, to look better on your tabletop. Now, the only way I found to go with these is to permanently glue them to a board. So what I'm using is some six millimeter MDF board and gluing these on. So they have to be a permanent thing because they are too fragile and loose. Now, these miniatures do come um, apart you can take the roof off um, and you have parts of the building and as you can see there's uh, quite a shine on all this miniature as well if you go around you can see the light reflects off the surface so I want to get rid of all that um, and certain items now uh, for a basic game um, these will do fantastic uh, for your basic playing or uh, your gameplay but I um, I, I, I want them to look a little bit better. And to be honest, these aren't that cheap for cardboard. Um, some of the larger buildings I got, uh, like the tavern, you're talking 40 pounds to buy the tavern and it's cardboard. Um, so for that price, I, was, I would have expected it to be a little bit more stronger and with a, a much more, I don't know, affordable, miniature i mean you can go for plastic which is, would be only a little bit more expensive so i don't know if i would 100 percent recommend these uh, miniatures and especially as you cannot flat pack them um they aren't the best to take apart and put together again it's, it's a one use thing you're gonna you're gonna build these and then you're going to stick them to a board and i can guarantee you if you do some of the, the the larger buildings and you try and you follow the, the videos that they have to stick these together you will not want to put them again together again once is enough so anyway i'll keep the video short and sweet i just want to show you a few hints and tips how to improve your cardboard buildings and make them better for your tabletop games okay so this is the cottage this is the cottage that came with the kickstarter now what i've done is i have stuck this onto uh, mdf board um, and i've added some sand and gravel to the base of the board and it is nice and sturdy now and that's not going anywhere and it's really nice and strong what i've done i've pva glued the cardboard to the base and um, it all just works together super well and it's nice and it's super strong now. So once you've PVA'd your miniatures to these uh, boards, you'll find that they're so much stronger and you can do so much more with the miniature. Now, the first thing I did with the whole of the cardboard is I went and got some Army Painter Anti-Shine paint. Now, all you do with the Anti-Shine is very likely paint over all the cardboard areas and as you can see there's no reflection there's no glare from any of the cardboard now so that instantly gives it a much better effect for your 
model. Um, so anti-shine paint from Army Painter or if there's any co other companies that do the anti-shine paint um, I would recommend the Army Painter because I've tried it on all these miniatures and it's not peeling up the, the paper it's uh, there's no warping or uh, no problems at all just a very nice thin coat of anti-shine and that'll take away that horrible glare coming off all the roofs on your miniatures so that's that was a very simple thing to do and it's given it a lovely matte effect and that works perfect now the next stage was to go around all the edges of all the cardboard and I just painted on some nun oil um, from Games Workshop and I painted on some Agrax Earthshade uh, again from Games Workshop now all you need to do is go over with a brush and you can see all the edges I've gone over all the edges with uh, the black and the brown where needed on the chimney. You've got your black at the top of the chimney and around all the windows. Um, and that really helps a lot. Now, the main thing and the most ugliest thing about these miniatures are the clips everywhere. So what I've done with the clips, I painted all the clips in um, brown. This is from MSP paints um, so an acrylic paint. Um, and once I painted them all brown, um, I then let them dry and just covered them with some nun oil or some Agrax Earthshade and just to darken them off a little bit more and that works perfectly well. Yes, you can still see them but they're not so demanding on the eye um, when they're, they're just the original grey, they just stand out too much. So just darkening these plastic parts off really does help the miniatures uh, to work better for you. Now what I've done then, I've got some Mantic Games fences, uh, Mantic Games trees, we've got the little MS, uh, we've got the, the old Reaper miniatures miniature there. Um, and these are very simple, I've just stuck them to the base and then I've gone some grass flocking, um, done some dry brushing around the base. But for the basic miniature, super simple, I've added some little grass tufts as well to the top of the ceiling. Um, and that's all you really need to do to each miniature just to improve them a little bit more now this to me will look fantastic on my tabletop for my games um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish all the different um, houses I got from the um, Kickstarter and I'll make a tiny little video of each one once they're finished and I'll post it onto YouTube just to show you um, what you can do with the cardboard houses just to improve and if there's any more improvements I can make to these miniatures I will post them up for you all to see so there we are um, as I bought this Kickstarter um, I felt like I needed to because it wasn't it wasn't cheap for me to buy the Kickstarter anyway um, so I, I didn't want to not put them together and I didn't not want to just keep them in the box and never use them. So I've made an effort to get them all based up and ready for gaming. And to be honest, I am super happy how this came out. Uh, but it does take a little bit of work. But if you've got the time and you want these to look a little bit better for your tabletop games, then I would highly recommend you get them stuck to an MDF board and just do what I've done. Just add a few little extras here and there and this will work fantastic I am really happy with this um, so there we are. what I'll do is I will um, keep you a, a regular update on all the rest of the miniatures as I get them finished and I'll post them up for you on YouTube so until next time Brushes, prime your models, and join murder.